hey guys coming out with a nude look today new hair this hair isn't new i've had it for about seven years um that's the kind of quality you can come to expect from wigs like jess uh wigs by jess sorry um so if you go to the etsy store down there um or just search it on google wigs by jess likes nerds you'll find my store very easily um we did do custom pieces a piece like this which is pinkish salmony colored with a 1B, ooh, just messing it all up, a 1B rue, you're looking at about, and it's about 20 inches long, looking at about $750 Australian, so that's not bad, it's Brazilian human hair, so it's nice and thin, it matches Caucasian hair quite well, um, this is 150% density, which is our normal density, um, coming in with some pink eyes today, and some kimchi on my lips over the top of Polly because uh, I wanted a more neutral pink than what I had and I don't have the pink that I wanted so I just mixed it up myself. <laughs> I'm wearing my contacts again, no allergies, no irritation, those drops are fucking magic. I didn't even put them in yesterday because I was wearing my glasses all day, I didn't put makeup on yesterday at all because we've got a new puppy and um, I've been sleeping with her in the kitchen. <laughs> to make sure that she uses the pee pee pads at night because Matt works very early in the morning. He gets up at about three or four, depending on what time he's starting. So it's my duty to take care of the puppy at night. But last night we took shifts because Matt's not working today. Um, and I'm pretty well rested. So I thought I'll put on a face, I'll put on a different wig. I just very recently um, washed and conditioned and blow waved this one on my mannequin head. So I just blow waved it straight, this isn't flat ironed at all. You can probably hear the puppy crying in the background because she's in her she's in her hut. I don't know if you can see it. That's her little cage or huge cage outside. Um she's not used to being alone yet, so she does have a bit of a sook. But um yeah, she's a good dog all round. Her name's Roxy. She's a stag hound. She's going to be very, very big. A big change from the chihuahuas that I'm used to. She's already bigger than my full-grown chihuahuas, and she's only seven weeks old. So um, we'll see how that goes when she gets bigger. She gets along quite well with the other dog that's here most of the time. She wants to play with the cats, but the cats are a bit scared of her, so they're erring on the side of caution. Um, my cat, Crumpet, is starting to befriend her very slowly but what can you do they're gonna have to move at their own pace and they're gonna have to attack each other a couple of times before they fall in love i think um uh, not much else to say today really i'm just posting a video to give you guys something because i haven't posted in a few days uh if you want a tutorial on this look it's very very easy i just use the huda beauty palette on my eyes and did my eyebrows and everything like usual. I've got a couple of freckles going on on my nose today. I thought I'd do something a bit different. Um, that can be put into a tutorial as well, even though there's a million tutorials on YouTube on how to do fake freckles. I do mine with a eyebrow pencil because it's a bit lighter. It's not as soft. So you kind of get a softer, more subtle look and you can blend them out a bit more. I can just go tap, 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 and they're lighter again. Uh, which is really good and you just focus on your nose and kind of move outwards into your cheeks and fade it out there um i'm wearing the hourglass bronzer in ambient that i usually wear and i'm wearing the Too faced blush from that blush palette they have that has like six blushes in it i'm wearing the darkest one and the pinkest one because all the rest are sort of bronzy and they don't look good on my skin there's made me look dirty um, I've done a pretty heavy contour today, like I do every day. Wearing the same gauges as usual because I haven't got new ones yet. I want to get new moonstone ones. I've seen them on eBay. I know where they're at. I'm going to get them soon. Um, all of my stuff from the Chinese stock take sale is coming in the mail slowly. So I'm just collecting it all up so I can do a nice big haul for you because they do a stock take sale in March, uh, usually around March 25th, 26th. So on AliExpress and on eBay, you can get some great deals at that time. Uh, also, my eBay secret, because a few of you guys have been asking how I get things so cheap on eBay. My eBay secret is to 
type in makeup or skincare or hair or hair care or wigs and go worldwide, lowest price and per, uh, postage first and go to the one cent items and I bid 50 cents to a dollar on each item. And if I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. I don't really bid more than a dollar on anything. And um, it's kind of like if you do enough of it, your strike rate will be high. You'll get a lot of things for 50 cents and you'll get a lot of things for a dollar because a lot of sellers post multiple posts of the same item. So you're likely to get something. Uh that's just working out next to me is a bit distracting because he's a bit sexy. Um, but yeah, that's everything for today, guys. I'll see you soon.